We're here today to take advantage of the fact that the Papua New Guinea Kumu rugby team are taking part in the Rugby League World Cup. We're going to use this advantage to promote Papua New Guinea coffees and we're doing this with the aid of UK Aid and the International Trade Centre in Geneva. And today we've brought together uh, the finest roasters that come from across the whole of the UK that we're hoping will uh, taste some really fantastic Papua New Guinea coffees and we'll introduce them to their blends as a result of their association with the rugby team and with the coffees. I was happy to be part of a, a coffee testing uh, sponsored by the ITC, International Trade Center, uh, the UK Aid, and I'm very thankful for all those participants because they're the ones promoting Papua New Guinea coffee in the UK. So we've hosted the cupping today and, and the whole event in collaboration with the International Trade Centre, ITC. And really this whole thing has been facilitated by them. And we've definitely garnered a lot of interest from current people who, current roasters who buy coffee from Papua New Guinea and certainly some new ones as well. So we're really looking forward to seeing what that can bring. Yeah, so what we had today was we had nine different coffees from Papua New Guinea on the table. We were cupping them blind. What really impressed me actually was that my favourite coffee was one that was probably graded maybe more in the middle of what they would kind of quantify in their quality structure. That shows that the sort of bottom of the industry and the quality and consistency is only rising. Don't get me wrong, the coffees at the top were of outstanding quality and I came away super excited, lots I wanted to purchase and yeah, they're definitely coffees that our customers in Leicester uh, at St Martin's Coffee Race will be looking to, to buy in the future. And here we are at the match and, and all the players are here and all the roasters are here and we're building up some fantastic relationships and it's those relationships which, which really help promote Papua New Guinea coffee. Yeah, I'm really thankful for the ITC and for UKA today for making today happen. Um, it's not often that you're in the room um, with you know, high commissioners, ambassadors, ministers, um, international rugby players. So it's been a real day to remember. Um, and what I'm really gonna take away from it is a newfound passion and love for Papua New Guinea as a country, for their coffee, and obviously for their rugby players. I like to promote coffee uh, by using sports. And I'm sure that our relationship will be a good one because we see uh, in UK, Papua New Guinea coffee will, will be sold in large numbers in the many years to come. Thank you very much.